Who asked it? Ladies and gentlemen, things are really bopping there at the Lipson Institute for Advanced Wine Studies. Welcome back here to the What's Cooking program, the nation's food, wine, restaurant, travel, and entertainment show. Kind of a lot of uh, calls and things coming in there, Larry. Are you okay? Do the authorities uh, release you now under the uh, watchful yes, eye yeah, of the lovely I'm, Lillian I'm, Lipson? I'm, I'm, I'm free. I'm free on bail. I put up uh, two cases of wine. Uh, fair, that boy. I tell you, pretty pricey these days. Anyway, listen, re- yes. listen to tomorrow. Tomorrow is uh, is Larry and Lillian's uh, uh, wedding anniversary. Oh, I could tell Lillian was getting quite amorous and uh, helping you out with some of the information. Apparently, things are getting on a very light and romantic note in Costa Rica. Yeah, we're going to go to one of the better restaurants uh, in this area tomorrow night. Yeah, is that the new Capitol Grill? Very interesting uh, that uh, the Capitol Grill, a national chain, has made its first appearance in the state of California in uh, Beverly Hills uh, and also in uh, Costa Mesa. And they're opening, been open about eight weeks or so. Go to a nice place. You have a Capitol Grill there, maybe, or a Roos Chris Steakhouse you uh, can go to? Yeah, no, we, we don't. We, they have, they have uh, only the uh, fast food chains, they don't have any uh, of those. Uh, you, you know, I, I kind of hesitate to ask, Larry, but you mentioned that you said you were going to be going to one of the better restaurants there in Costa Rica. Uh, uh, yeah, we'll, what, what do you we'll expect to kind of kind of anticipate finding? Divina. 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 Is that? Uh, Divina. Divina. It's uh, it's owned by uh, Patrick Jamon, who mm. used to be a chef at the Regency mm. in, uh, in uh, mm. on Wilshire Boulevard. In oh my! Well, that sounds like that could be Very quite good. quite uh, nice. So they have no steakhouse yeah. like a Roos Chris. Do they have a Ricardo Chris Steakhouse, something like that? No, no, they no. There's nothing like that around here. We're we're very rustic. There's a they have a one or two steakhouses, but. Um, there's nothing, no names that you would recognize. They're all independents. All right, I'm going to give you a couple of tips here. This is from the Rioja Tasting, and see if you have gotten some of these. Monte Real, uh, this was a, uh, a red crianza, and uh, very good. Had good structure to it, Larry, and uh, not that uh, pricey. Uh, very good wine. What's you might want Monte, Monte, Monte Real. And uh, let me see what else I have here for you. Just uh, pops in. I took some copious <coughs> notes here. And um, yeah, as you can see, Paul was not with me, but Paul oh, I, took notes. I, I, you know, no, I actually have some notes on uh, an event that I also participated in to a certain okay. degree. I forgot one wine, one other wine I had <coughs> in uh, this was in Port Orange, Florida, at the Stonewood Grill and Tavern. It was uh, La Crema uh, Pinot Noir oh. 207. Oh, so that's oh, that's really doing it up. Okay, now here's a great wine. There are two wines, Don Roman, okay, oh. Don Roman, R-O-M-A-N. I found that to be a nice blend. That was a, a red wine. And then they had yeah. uh, this uh, Marquis de Tamares, which also was a red Crianza wine, an 07, which was in French oak. I found that thing to be the best. That's the Ooh. Marquez de Tamares. And that's a 2007 red Crianza. was just wonderful. And this place also had the Cava, Cava Don Roman, R-O-M-A-N. Mm. And um, mm. the, the, they had these two Marquez de Tamaras. One is uh, aged in uh, in American oak, and then one was aged in the French oak. The French oak, much uh, the French and American oak, was just the best. That's the one I told you about. That's the 07. And the uh, Cava was uh, Don Roman. <laughs> and uh, just a whole so lot these, of seconds. These, these are all small wineries, though, right? Yes, but if you can find them for your anniversary <laughs> or if anybody can find them, here is a, 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 vet, a vetiver. This is a, a vetiver. It's 100% viura. That's a varietal in Spain. It's light but has a long, long finish, and that is a 2007 vetiver, V-E-T-I-V-E-R. And then these uh, Antanon, O-N-T-A-N-O-N, that's uh, a 01. That was a red Grand Reserve. Very nicely done, by the way, Larry. You'll like that oh, one. Nine-year-old wine. Yeah, that's a 95% Tempranillo, 5% uh, Graciano. They use Graciano as a blending grape there. In, mm-hmm. And then a, here's a 70-year-old vineyard from Taron, T-A-R-O-N. That's the name of the winery. And it's a, uh, a blend of Tempranillo, uh, Mazzulo, and Graciano. And it's uh, 2004 vintage, T-A-R-O-N, a 70-year-old vineyard. If you can find that one. How much? How much do these wines all cost? These, these wines expensive? were all like from uh, two to three dollars up to maybe fifteen dollars. 
Ramez de la could, Piscina. Are they, are they actually going to bring some to the United States? Or uh, yeah, they're trying to do that. Ramirez de la Piscina, R A M I R E Z, Manny Ramirez's place. Ramirez de la Piscina, P I S C I N A. This one, excellent wine. You know, it is a. You know, a piscina, piscina is a swimming pool. Well, I'm telling you, you can swim in this 100% Tempranillo. It's a 2004 vintage. Just wonderful. Okay. That one a little pricier. That one around in the fifty dollar <clears throat> margins. Uh, well, that's, uh, that sounds very interesting. I wish we could uh, get wines like that down here for two or three dollars. My goodness. Yeah. I, I, well, there's one for four fifty. Cuna de Reyes. Uh, that was good. A three dollar wine. Cuna de Reyes 06. Uh, Tempranillo Grenache and Mazzullo blend. That was very nice too for about three bucks. Larry Lipson, happy anniversary to you. We'll have more for you straight ahead on the What's Cooking Today show. Stay tuned for a million bottle giveaway announcement. Do you have troubled skin, acne? Well, again.